So I don't really do this, but I think I find the best 5-inch FPV drone frame in the market and I have to share it with you. Let's go. Hi, my name is Ayan and on this channel, I talk about tech, travel, transform. So if you resonate with any of that, do smash that subscribe button. So on this channel, I don't typically review FPV drone parts. Yes, I do fly and post videos about FPV drone and I also build FPV drone and put it out for you people. But I don't really review FPV drone parts like a frame, but this one is really different. I think it's easily the best frame available in the market market and uh, it's by a company called Access Flying. The frame is Manta 5 Dead Cat version. So I was uh, in the market for a new frame and I'm sure you have heard me listening so many times that if you are flying an FPV frame then stick with that, make the same setup that will make you a great drone pilot. And similarly I was flying Gep RC Mark 5 frame. In fact, this is still my go-to drone, the Gep RC Mark 5 frame. It's a phenomenal frame. It's a great frame. The design is really good. I really, really love to fly this frame. But there were two problems because of which I actually replaced this frame. And I think this is going to be my go-to frame for a very, very long time. So first of all, I recently have some issues with Gep RC support. I reached out to them regarding something wrong with their supplies and they were not very responsive. So it was not a great experience with Gep RC as a company. But even though I decided to ignore that and still get this frame, because as I mentioned, it's my go-to frame and it really flies well but it was out of stock everywhere and, and someone recommended me to try this frame by access flying it's called manta 5 dead cat frame and oh my god i had such a great experience with unboxing of this frame and overall design i'm not really sure why i was previously not looking at this frame for some reason it never crossed my attention but i think this is now going to be my go to five inch frame and i'm gonna shift my entire fleet to access flying very very soon so let's quickly unbox this frame and i'll tell you why i chose this frame and what's really you know caught my attention why i think it's a great phenomenal frame and we'll also assemble the frame quickly and i'll show you how it looks so usually whenever i order any fpv part i don't really wait for unboxing on the camera because i don't put that videos on this channel and similarly for this frame i was very excited so i unboxed this previously and i'm gonna you know put a small unboxing video on the side but uh, trust me the unboxing experience was really great it was like unboxing a new iphone straight from the apple that level of experience from this frame so as i mentioned I already unboxed it once but let me tell you everything that comes into this uh, uh, frame so I think every drone frame manufacturer should be having a package similar to access flying and it is so compact it is so great so uh, on the top you will see that you will have a guide on how to assemble the frame uh, basically I think almost every frame supplier has this guide available in the box or on their website so it tells everything that is in the frame itself and how you can assemble it so yeah it's great to have it in the box itself then of course you have the top plate uh, which I already assembled by putting some of the battery uh, parts over here and this is a packet for all the 3d printed parts that you're gonna need to build this frame and we're gonna talk about it in a moment you also get two great silicon coated straps for the battery which is amazing i think every frame manufacturer should start including this and then we have uh, some screws over here uh, you also get two XT60 connector because this frame has XT60 mounted on the front. You get the female one and you get the male one. Uh, it would be better if they have the XT60 pigtail for the male instead. Uh, uh, they just given a connector, but yeah. Uh, almost all the stack and ESs comes with the pigtail, so that's not a huge deal. Uh, this is like the middle plate, or you can say the fuselage. You can see I have already assembled it. And uh, over here, you can see this is a frame CNC aluminum in the front. All the standoffs are aluminum, it's not made of steel. And then we have the middle plate, which is a really, really high quality carbon. Uh, really great tolerances. You will not see any residue over here whatsoever. So this is definitely made in a great factory with great precision. Even the standoffs have the branding. It's actually 7075 aluminum, which is lightweight yet very, very strong. And you get all the great uh, steel uh, screws over here. And you can just see the quality of this plate. You can see this etching. Uh, there's a small logo. And all of these things are very, very intentional. They are actually part of the frame and not something, you know, put randomly over here. And you can also see that there is a small slot cut over here. This is for the VTX wire, which, you know, is a great, great thing. When you put your O3 or a VTX over there, you have to run wire from the top and it gets really hot. So they made a small slot so you can run your wire over here, which is like amazing. As I mentioned, I just assemble it a bit, you know, to save some time. But uh, yeah, this reminds me of uh, Armiton design where in the front they have put uh, aluminum thing, which is really, really durable, yet still very lightweight. So it doesn't really add much weight to your overall drone frame. Uh, but yeah, we'll assemble it completely. 
then you have some more screws you have three allen keys included so every screw that is available in the frame you have allen key for that again i think every manufacturer should start doing it uh, even though a lot of drone pilots have all these parts anyway uh, you can see there are more screws some more screws and you know some sanding paper if you need that to sand some of the frame parts then you have some more screws and over here is a gopro style screw which is uh, you can use to you know mount your gopro or action cameras on the top you also get a small screwdriver which i think i haven't really seen in much frames so it's a 1.5 inch or 30 millimeter screwdriver i think it's used for the camera screws so yeah it's great to see screwdrivers then you have the top plate on which you will mount the camera uh, as i mentioned it's a dead cat frame so two arms are bigger than the front two arms that's how dead cat frame works so you have two bigger arms and then two smaller arms and this is like the most innovative thing that I have seen in drone frame for a very, very long time. So as you know that usually the drone frames that are coming into the market is a sandwich design, which is inspired by Impulse RC, Apex and all kind of frame. So that means that you have a bottom plate, then you have a middle plate and the arm sandwich between them. But you can see it only comes with one plate. It's not a sandwich design, even though sandwich designs are really, really great. They have a great frame resonance. Uh, but how it's uh, making durable and still having a great film resonance is by this part. So this is a CNC aluminum part which acts as a small sandwich between your arms and your middle plate or the main fuselage plate. And over here you can see this is like a really piece of uh, marvel I would say. A greatly CNC, great tolerances and I will show you how you can assemble it but this is something that will really make your job really easy. So if you are in a, uh, in a field and you want to replace uh, one arm which is broken and then you can you know just untie one screw and lose other screws and you will get one arm outside so you know really really great innovation and then they have also provided some leds over here which is addressable rgb leds which you can control with beta flight using beta flight uh, switch modes or you know depending on what mode you go and i'll show you how it looks uh, assembled in a bit so these are all the parts and uh, you know let's assemble the frame quickly and it's uh, i would say it's a very easy frame to assemble you don't have to even look at the a manual but let's start with the main fuselage and you can see as i mentioned that it only has one plate it doesn't have a, a bottom plate so how you really want to do it is this is something that will go uh, at the bottom and over here you can put some leds you can see it also has a 3d printed diffuser over which the axis flying logo will glow up uh, these wires are not provided i actually soldered it myself uh, but you can just put it over here like this and these wires can be soldered to your flight controller to control the leds and then you can put your arms over here so as i mentioned it's a dead cat frame so the longer arms will go at the back like this and the smaller arms will go in the front uh, i think it's symmetrical both sides so it doesn't really matter which side is up and this is how the frame overall looks the geometry the dead cat i really love dead cat frames the reason that i'm building a dead cat frame and not a normal x frame uh, like my gap rc is because in the dead cat frame the propellers doesn't come into the picture so if you really really want to enjoy the scenery while you're flying fpv dead cat gives you a better experience in terms of uh, uh, flying uh, and also you can also use your o3 camera for recording it and that's what i'm planning to do with this build for the next step it's quite straightforward you just have to put your main fuselage or the middle plate over here and then you can screw it down so for this they have provided all the screws which are available over here so four of the screws are also used as the stack screws and rest of them are just holding the arm so i'm gonna use my electric trusty screwdriver for this one so before putting the stack screw you can also put these screws which will go from top to the bottom and that makes it really really great because the screws coming from the either side make it a great sandwich and the frame becomes really really durable in event of any crash so as you can see it's really easy to hold the entire uh, arm structure just using the top two screws so by just using this top two screws all the arms are held tight but we still have eight more screws to go so you can see that how much durable this uh, frame would be so i'll start by adding the smaller screws which will go on the outside because on the inside there will be the stack screw which are the bigger one and you can definitely refer to the manual uh, to assemble this frame but as i mentioned it's quite straightforward you will figure it out yourself so on the outside i'm putting the smaller screws And I have to say it's a very very clever design because as I mentioned if you have to remove just one arm you can just take out one screw and lose some other screws and the arm will be taken out very very easily. 
so this frame is a really really great for maintenance if you crash you don't have to remove the entire frame uh, unfortunately for some frame that is the case you have to remove all the arms you have to remove bottom plate and what not and the frame that I recently crashed was Impulse RC Apex and it was totally burned out. It was a dead cat frame. So that is why I'm replacing it with an equivalent dead cat frame. I really like to have a dead cat frame and a normal frame in my fleet. But yeah, you can see these four screws are holding the arms uh, at the outer and you just have to remove one screw and, you know, just lose this screw and the arm will come out automatically. So that's how uh, this frame becomes uh, really, really easy to work with. And yeah, it's a beautiful frame. I would say the quality of carbon really speaks for itself. The carbon grains is really, really good. And by the way, Axis Flying is the same company that also has come up with the DJI Avata upgrade kits. So you can also have a more powerful motor in your DJ Avata and yeah that is the same company that uh, has made this frame now it's time to put up uh, this stack frame so I'm using a uh, 30 by 30 stack so I'm gonna go uh, use the outer holes if you're using a 20 by 20 stack which I would never recommend for a 5 inch frame but they've also provided this small 20 by 20 uh, stack screw so you can use that but uh, let's use the outer one for me so I'm just gonna you know hand tight it at first and then I'm gonna use my screwdriver and this one is uh, really really easy it's a really breeze to you know assemble this frame i actually assembled it once so i know where every screws goes but i'm doing it again on the camera just to show you and yeah it's a uh, really easy if you have an electric screwdriver you don't really have to you know put a lot of uh, labor into it so i highly recommend you also get an electric screwdriver i actually showed this in one of my live stream i'm gonna put uh, uh, the link down below uh, i showed uh, all of my tools that i used to build fpv drones so if you want to pick it up you can pick it up uh, from there all right so now all the structural screws are in place as you can see you have uh, four stack screws on the inside you have four smaller screws for the arms and then uh, from the top there are two screws so it's a really really great uh, sandwich design as you can see even though it doesn't have a full fledged bottom plate and i would say that is a great design mixing aluminum with carbon axis flying is definitely not the first one to do that but they are most definitely the first one to think of this innovative uh, design like this where the arms are you know actually a part of the frame itself the sandwich uh, between the aluminum and the carbon and this gives frame a great great rigidity and that's why i think this is gonna be my go-to frame so yeah before i finish assembly of this frame let me also show you what we have got in the 3d printed part so there is also some innovation happening over there so there are some couple of uh, uh, holders for your camera for your dji 3 which is everything included if you have a analog camera if you have a dji 3 or if you have cadex vista everything is included for that so that is covered and then we have the four arm protectors which also double as landing gear so you have to put it like this and this is a very very cool design i would say this really gives frame a personality and this goes like this and that's how this looks so let me put all of them So that's how it looks, putting the arm protectors which also double as landing gear and now the frame has a solid base to stand on. Then talking about other things, this is something that I have never seen in a frame before. So this is a GPS mount, but this is not a regular GPS mount, this actually is a GPS cradle. So it sits between these two things on the back. So if I, you know, just put it like there on the back. Uh, and then you can see the GPS will lock it like this with the help of some screws and the reason it's really intelligent is because the GPS is actually cradling on the back so you can you know change the direction of GPS depending on the signal strength that you are getting and you don't have to put it fixed you can actually move, move it up move it down and move it you know straight direction depending on how the reception is there so yeah that's also included in the frame. Uh, then what is included is a small antenna mount you can have uh, two different antennas or single antennas so that is also included this is for putting out a capacitor and a buzzer so you can actually mount it uh, in the frame itself in the front like this and this will hold your buzzer and this will hold your capacitor so again a very welcome addition to the frame itself last but not the least you also have a gopro holder included over here like this so gopro holder will go onto this uh, 
on the top like this so you also have a carbon fiber plate if you want to put it like a different camera or you don't want to put a camera you can just put it like this otherwise if you want to hold a gopro then you can also put this 3d printed tpu mount on top of it and this will hold your gopro very very easily the gopro screw is included and you might be wondering that the o3 3d printed mount is not available and yes that doesn't come into the kit but what access flying has done uh, that i think every supplier should do is along with the o3 mount they have open sourced and made all the file parts available on their website and fp pilots usually have access to a 3d printer so that saves some cost and if you want to print an uh, o3 mount you can do it by downloading the file from the website so as you can see i have a 3d printed uh, o3 mount over here that i can use to mount o3 on the frame itself and i've also printed an antenna mount for the o3 so these two were easily downloadable free of cost from the access flying website and i'm using it to, to you know mount o3 when i will be uh, using o3 but for some people who want to you know just fly uh, vtx which is analog vtx they don't need an o3 mount so that's why they have not included in the frame itself uh yeah it's not a sponsored video so i have bought this frame from my very own money so i'm not really endorsing it but i really really admire what they have done with the overall frame so let's finish the assembly by putting the top plate over here as you can see uh, this looks really good so if i find the right screws which i think are this one i will just put a couple of screws to close the frame assembly and then i'll talk about the pricing all right so the assembly is complete and that's how the frame looks i say it's a beautiful frame i totally love it and uh, i'm definitely i'm very excited to build this with you and fly this along uh, so yeah this is definitely gonna be a build video very very soon as i mentioned there are few parts that i'm still waiting to come but uh, look at this frame it is really really amazing and i don't think you can get this frame for this so uh, much of price money there is a great value addition talking about the price you can get this frame for around 70 to 75 dollars uh, which i think would be in indian rupees around 6000 rupees which is not the cheapest frame but i would say for the things that you are getting it's a really really good value for money let's just say that so i am very excited to build this frame with you and take it on a spin real soon so do follow me if you haven't already on instagram to see some behind the scenes and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because fpv build video is coming very very soon uh, on that note thank you for watching i hope you really enjoyed it and learn something new and i'm going to see you in the next one